Are you a childcare business owner? Maybe you own a small home daycare in your home. Maybe you own a bigger center. Maybe you're a site administrator and you're struggling with marketing. You've tried everything. You've tried posting in large Facebook communities. You've tried printing out flyers and passing them around in your community. And maybe you've even tried posting on Facebook and still you hear crickets. Problem is you're probably marketing your business the old school way, the way that you were taught, you know, hoping and promoting, hoping that you'll print out some flyers and then parents are going to line up at your door. Well, let me tell you, friend, that's not how marketing works today. In today's world, you have to make sure you have a strong presence online. You have to make sure that you're leveraging your platforms properly, that you're investing in some paid traffic and that you are showing up consistently being top of mind. In this podcast, I'm going to share with you online marketing strategies that are working right now in order to get you more reach, more visibility, and of course, more enrollments. So grab a piece of paper and a pen, a quiet place to listen to the episodes, and let me simplify marketing for you. Hey there, welcome back to another episode of the Child Care Business Marketing Made Easy podcast. And I am so happy to have you here. So for this week, I am trying something different. I am trying to record video podcasts and then share them on all my platforms. Um, So if you are watching the podcast, amazing. If you are listening to me, wherever you listen to your podcast, welcome. Um, Before I dive into today's training, I want to mention that I do have some spots available for discovery calls, for strategy calls. What these are are basically 30 minutes of free marketing advice. We hop on a video chat via Google Meet and then I just ask you some questions and then I kind of walk you through what I think is missing in your marketing strategy so that when we are done with a 30 minute conversation, you have clarity, you know exactly why you're struggling, but more importantly, what you need to do, what types of things you need to put in place in order to be able to not struggle anymore. So if you wanna get some more information, hop on over to the show notes or go on my website, childcarebusinessmarketing.com forward slash application, apply there and then just book a time and obviously show up. So today's training um, is gonna be a quick one, but I think it's one that I think a lot of childcare business owners struggle with, especially in today's online space with all the things that we have um, we have in our possession, right? So we have all sorts of platforms and we just don't know what to do, we're stuck. And if you're running a small home daycare and you're on your own, or if you're running a bigger center, this can feel overwhelming especially if you're not like a child of the social media age right where you you're not you're not used to posting all the time and you're kind of confused and you're not sure where exactly you should be showing up where you should be posting going live recording videos and all that fun stuff so I just wanted to clarify this for you in this very short episode Um, he basically talk a little bit about platforms and which ones are the best are the ideal ones that you should be focusing your attention on okay so when i'm talking about platforms i'm going to focus this on uh, purely on social media because i am assuming that you are already found on google which is the number one search engine of the entire world right so you know going going forward i want to assume that you have a website that is mobile friendly um you know it's been optimized it's uh it's it's there's no broken links right all the keywords are in place and you're easily found on google meaning if a local mom and dad for example wants to find a home daycare in the area where well, your your website is going to pop up right so with that being said let's talk a little bit more about online platforms because i think this is where people get very very stuck um obviously there's a lot of choices out there and the good news is no you do not have to be on all the platforms Um, But you do have to show up in a few. And I want to share with you how you can do this, why you should do this, and how you can do this in in a way that is going to kind of take minutes or even hours out of you posting all over the place, okay? So why do you need to be on social media? Well, it's it's a part of the puzzle when we're talking about marketing strategy. So as a business owner, whether you have a small home daycare or a bigger center, you want to have some type of online presence, right? And this is not new. Um, we know, especially over the last couple of years, more and more things have shifted toward the online space and your business, you know, childcare is no different. So I don't care if you're running a small home daycare with five kids or if you're in charge of a huge preschool program, you need to have some type of presence on social media. Now, that does not mean you have to be glued to your phone. That does not mean you have to be posting every five minutes. It does not mean that you have to be posting on all the platforms. It just means that when you're thinking of your marketing strategy it ha- it's it's an important part right it's a it's a piece of that puzzle 
Now, you have to be online. Why? The biggest reason is because we know that most moms and dads are hanging around online, right? People are on their phones, they're checking their feeds, and they do this throughout the day. So you have to make sure that you are kind of placing your business and your content in front of their eyeballs, right? Yes, they they can find you on Google and they probably will, but they will most likely also follow you on social media, right? And you want to make sure that you're found there. So what that means is having having uh, a business page set up on Instagram, on Facebook, um, if you're if you're leveraging Pinterest, right? Making sure that you are found on all these platforms. Now, the question here is, do I need all these platforms? And the answer is no, you don't. Um, you want to make sure that you're doing the research, and I have some facts I'm going to share with you in a bit, um, so that you know where you're showing up uh, is is also where your ideal clients are showing up as well, right? We want to make sure that we're leveraging our time properly with intent, right? We're not wasting our time. And we want to make sure that every time we post or every time we create a video or we go live, we are on the platforms that we know our moms and dads in our community are hanging around. So I'm going to give you some stats, okay? 86% of people ages 18 to 29 use Facebook. Um, 77% of people ages 30 to 49 also use Facebook, right? So, you know, a lot of people say that Facebook is just for old people, right? Um, And that's not true. We know that there's a strong amount of people like high 70s, high 80% of people that are 18 to 49, which is usually probably, you know, usually where you'll find more of your ideal clients, right? And we know that they're still using Facebook, right? So Facebook is one of those platforms that you have to have some type of presence on, having a business page, right? Um, And we also know that over 50% of the users are female, right? Uh, so it's really, really important to know that, you know, you have a Facebook business page, but you also know that most of your clients are probably on Facebook and most of the people that are using them, using this platform are women, right? Those moms in your community. So Facebook is one of those that you definitely have to have. Now, let's talk about Instagram, okay? So Instagram, sometimes, sometimes, at least in my case, I feel that it's a younger crowd, like it's younger people that take these amazing pictures and, you know, these selfies and all these things, but it doesn't have to be. So 67% of people aged 18 to 29, so the ages are lower than Facebook, use Instagram. So, you know, we see that 67% are using Instagram. 47% are ages 30 to 49. They still use Instagram. So we know that the percentages are lower of users, but we still see that they are still on this platform. And over 50% of the users are female, right? So those local moms and dads, those local moms, I mean, that you want to target. So Instagram is another platform that you should definitely be leveraging. Now, the good news is, is that as you're setting up your social media platforms, especially if you're leveraging your meta suites, you can actually go in and connect both together. So when you're posting on one, well, the other one gets updated automatically, right? Then there's a way you can do this where you're, you're adding your hashtags on Instagram and not on Facebook, right? But nevertheless, you can connect these two. You could link these two accounts so that when you're posting on one, the other one gets updated as well, okay? So Facebook and Instagram. So let's think about another one that you may not be leveraging right now. Pinterest. Pinterest is a platform. It's a search engine, right? It's visual. You know, a lot of us go on it to look for um, do-it-yourself projects or recipes, right? Or, you know, um, I don't know, decorating or arts and crafts ideas, right? There's a lot of uses for it and a lot of searches for it. But here's what interests us the most, okay? So 34% of people ages 18 to 49 are on Pinterest. So the percentage is lower, but over 70% of the users are women. So we know that more women are on this platform, which is extremely visual, right? People usually type up what they're looking for, then they start seeing different pins and posts. So this is an excellent uh, uh, um, an excellent um, platform that you can definitely be leveraging in a strategic way, okay? So we know that TikTok and YouTube, right? There's LinkedIn, there's Twitter, there's all the other ones as well. But these are the ones where we want to focus our attention on because more and more people are using them every day. Um, more moms are using, more women are using them every day. And it's not, it doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon, okay? So 
if you're still stressing and if you're still thinking, oh my gosh, I can't be posting on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, let me show you how you can post smarter and not harder, okay? So as a business owner, you know, having a strategy and um, a calendar, if you will, behind what you're posting is a great idea. So instead of trying to figure out what to post like randomly on a Tuesday morning, for example, you want to be strategic and you want to make sure that you're setting up the time in your week, if you're the one doing this, to actually create the content and the posts for your platforms. And what's interesting here is that not only can you repurpose the same posts, um, but you can actually pre-schedule all of them in, right? So if you're, for example, creating uh, videos or images for your your Facebook business page, you can actually connect those together and then pre-schedule everything to go out um, automatically so you don't have to worry about it. And when it comes to Pinterest, all you have to do is take the same images that you've created, for example, and you resize them using your Canva um, tool, canva.com, a free a free website you can definitely leverage. And then what that what that does is it just basically takes your, let's say you, you designed a, um, a little graphic to post on Instagram. You take the same graphic and you resize it to Pinterest dimensions, right? And there's a template for that. And then you just use that and you can pre-schedule your pins as well so you don't have to be on Pinterest all day long trying to figure